Hello and welcome to Bowler CBT Labs. My name is Matt Bowler and in this video we will begin to dive into the new CCMP security series recently uh, released and introduced by Cisco. If you've been following the developments, the Cisco Press book was just released uh, in July. This is 2011. So the book is pretty much hot off the press and it looks like we should have the following three books by the end of the year. The, the dates have been pushed back several times and I don't doubt that they will continue to be pushed back. But this first book that's been released, the exam has been out for quite some time. Uh, we're looking at the exam number 642-637, the secure exam. And I want to get kind of get things kicked off here with a basic review of some switched, um, basic switch security, the switch data plane. And a lot of you may work in the networking field. You could be relatively new to the field and have a good security background. Uh, but I'm sure you'll know that security is paramount in the networking world. And it's one of those fundamentals that every network has to have. Uh, so security is just something that we can't really skimp on, especially in this day of age where there's so many vulnerabilities, um, a lot of zero-day attacks, and everything is just basically changing on a, at least a daily basis. So monitoring our networks, keeping things up to date and secure, and just practicing best practices is one of the best ways that we can maintain a secure network and uh, protect ourselves and our customers, uh, our clients, the companies that we work for. There's uh, a lot of networks out there and there's a lot of ground to be covered when it comes to security. So when we look at switches, uh, one of the first things that comes to mind uh, to me is the type of switch ports. We have access ports, trunk ports, and essentially there are a few different types of what could be become a trunk port. You have a static map, uh, mapping for a trunk port. You could have a dynamic auto trunk port and a dynamic desirable. We all know an access port is what you would connect a host to, uh, an end user. A trunk port obviously designed to pass um, bulk information from several VLANs. It's going to be doing all of our trunking from switch to switch. So there's a few different ways that we can go about setting up those particular trunk ports. And I'd just dive right into it.